Hey everyone, Michelle here. Today we are going to go over a vegetable. That's one of the biggest complaints people say to me. Well, Michelle, I'm so tired of all the same old thing. I'm eating asparagus all the time. So I'm going to give you some a vegetable dish that tastes really good. And right now uh, your squashes are in. Most people have their garden, so we're going to address that. So we're using a summer squash and a zucchini. You're going to wash it really good. Make sure it's all washed. And then you're going to slice it into fairly thin slices. You can see that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of um, coconut oil and I put it on a paper towel and you're just going to take and you are going to coat the inside so it doesn't stick. Then you're going to take and you're going to start layering and how we're going to do this, as you can see, is I usually will start with the zucchini on the bottom. And that one's really thick. I'm actually going to slice that just a little bit thinner. Okay. And then I'll take and put a coating of some of the summer squash. And that one's a little thick also. You want to kind of keep it thinner so it cooks through. So we're going to, if you have to, you just can cut them. So then I'm going to take some garlic powder and I'm going to put a layer of that, just a little lightly spray it, some uh, sea salt, you always want to make sure you do the sea salt, not regular salt, and some Parmesan cheese. And you don't have to use a lot because you know you don't want to have all the calories and stuff, but it does give it a nice little flavor. Then you continue on, you'll go ahead and do a second layer, and you just layer these like this. And then another layer of the summer squash. And we will do a little bit more garlic powder, some more sea salt, and a little bit of, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And one more layer. If you like tomatoes, David doesn't like tomatoes, um, then you can add to, I would do a layer of tomatoes also, um, but unfortunately my partner here, <laughs> he's not a huge fan of tomatoes. It's one of the few things he doesn't like, so we're going to do it without for him. Camera guy's not supposed to talk, but I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> and you do that. And then also I like to use the Pyrex pans that have the glass top. When you use aluminum foil, aluminum has been um, tied to Alzheimer's and some other issues. So where and when possible, if you can use a Pyrex pan that has glass lids, it's just much healthier. So they're easy to clean. Um, there's no carcinogens being leached into your, your food. So, you know, Christmas is coming soon and this would be a great thing to ask for. So we will show you what this is like. We're going to go ahead and bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, it's done. We're ready to go here. So you can see there's our, our squashes, and it looks yummy. And what's great is you can do a big, huge pan of this. It reheats really, really well. And so, again, for those who are looking for something different to eat, you're tired of eating the same old vegetables over and over again, zucchini and summer squash are some of the best uh, vegetables you can eat. And, again, some great nutrients. So there's your vegetable for today.